What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I want to talk to you about Faraday Future Tickers, FFIE. I'm going to give you a good breakdown of what is happening with Faraday behind the scenes and potentially given all the circumstances where things could go. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get right to it. So when it comes down to Faraday, the reason why it is up almost about 9% today is A, the technicals, and B, this news as well. So in this news, the PR to the SEC, it does say that the company has confirmed that they have no exposure to the whole Silicon Valley bank. So of course, I think that's a fairly known thing, but the fact that they're coming out with it is A+. plus to me it also says the company also confirmed that it is received its dealer license from the state of california for its u.s operations and it expects to go to market using a direct sales model so in general that's definitely very positive to have that and the direct sales model is fairly good as well because it does help reduce a lot of the costs they're also confirming its final launch event for april 26 2023 so that's definitely right around the corner of course within two weeks so they do have that shareholder meeting on march March the 30th where there is two proposed items up for kind of debate well, second one not so important first one is uh, a little bit so of course let me know your thoughts on that I've touched on this in a previous video as well but if you do want a little bit more of a in-depth breakdown let me know as well um, I can also live stream this if you guys are wanting to but shareholder meetings don't generally last too long only around five to ten minutes but still outside of that though there is no fundamental news no articles nothing about fair day behind the scenes which as you can see it is currently up around 10 percent but if you do want a lot of the good compiled information in one area take a look at seeking alpha i have a link to them in the description below and also the comments so you can actually get a good seven day free trial so take advantage of that but like i said nothing specific even though there was um, some kind of mixed result today so there was ppi and also retail sales retail sales didn't come in line with the forecast so this in combination with uh, credit suisse is causing a lot of disruptions within the broader economy but despite that though Faraday seems to be just going up now 11% and I'll give you a good breakdown so as you can see this is all the options activity from today and very much nice change of events so a lot of calls are being purchased insinuating upside is coming and when it comes down to secondary market there's been no big transactions over 100,000 since March the 6th and dark pool there was only one today $165,000 but typically dark pool is very much linked to short so I'll give you a quick update on what they are doing so currently increasing 697.84 thousand shares 22.26 percent is the short interest which is a percentage of the free float and 9.27 percent is the cost to borrow average so I think generally speaking behind the scenes definitely could have a fairly good squeeze if there's some good developments coming from operations but like I said even though it is going up for now 11% wherever it might be I do anticipate it to continue to go up despite the economic concerns up until around the 47 cent range because right now based on the fib levels it's trading between the s2 and the s1 which in general is fairly good but for it to get past this 47 cent mark, it needs a little bit more than what was just announced based on this. So of course, that's just my own interpretation, who isn't a financial advisor. So make sure you guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day. But like I said, from even from here on out up until around 47 cents is fairly good, whether it is because of a squeeze or just natural growth definitely pretty good and as far as the two indicators that I like to look at so for instance looking at momentum number of retail investors are getting in today stochastic you do see a small deviation starting to form so black line above the red showing a nice bullish sentiment is kind of starting to come in and stochastic is also at 16 so it is very much oversold so potentially behind the scenes it could have a very good value rally if there is a good operational update like I said this is all good information but I think generally speaking, operational updates are seen as uh, far better positive than, than this information. But still, once again, I could be wrong. Let me know your thoughts on that. Like I said, I do anticipate it to continue to trend up to around the 47 cent range, at which most likely it will bounce off of that, consolidate and try again from there. So that's just how I project things. So let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. Like I said, take advantage of that seven day free trial with Seeking Alpha. And in addition to that, though, 
though. I do have a very good promo that is only available until March the 31st, and that is with Moomoo. All you have to do, just open up an account. It is free to do so, and you get one free stock by doing so. And just that one stock could be valued up to $2,000. So if anything, all you have to do, just sign up for the account. It is very simple to do, and... A no-brainer gets you one free stock and if you do want to throw a hundred dollars at it as well as you can see you get four free additional stocks each valued up to two thousand dollars and because of the whole chat AI movement, they're giving you two free stocks, one of which is AI and the other is BBAI. So definitely make sure you guys take advantage of this link in the description below. And also I'll put that in the comments. So make sure you guys do because this is a, a pretty big no brainer. But once again, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe, always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, I appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on Faraday Future.